Well, welcome back to this week's Bailey Bill. We're back at another tool unboxing and review. This week, we're talking about the Craftsman V20 18 gauge Brad Naylor that's battery operated and works on the V20 battery system there. It's a 20 volt operated system by Craftsman. And just a few weeks ago, I had a chance to unbox the four tool set, which included the circular saw, drill, and driver, as well as the light. This week, that same set extends out to a Brad Naylor. I'm really excited to get a chance to try this one out. Let's get to it. <laughs> Well, I started off by cracking open the box and unloading all the supplies. I'd like to thank our friends over at Ace Hardware for providing the supplies for this video. I'll add a link in the description below. Next, I wanted to install the belt clip. To do this, you simply remove the screw on the lower left side, slide the belt clip in, and fasten the screw back into place. The Craftsman 18 volt nailer actually comes with a battery. We've had a chance to charge this one up. You can see it's at the full three bars now, uh, so it's ready to go. We'll take this. Here's your battery slot right here on the bottom. And then we'll snap that into place. The weight's not too bad, it actually feels pretty good. Uh, it, I think it'll handle pretty well for you. Um, most of the weight's up top here. And it's very light as far as the bottom and the sides go, but I think it'll be good for movement. And I'm really interested to try this. All right. All right. So you've got the nail gun out of the box. What next? Well, we'll take a look around here now. We've got a chance to add the belt clip on now. And you can see this is the, really the, uh, the slot of the reservoir where your actual nails go. So we'll pop this open. I've had a chance to load nails in. You want to make sure that the the uh, kind of perforated edges of those up top are up top, and just the full slot of the nail body itself faces down. There's actually a track that they actually sit right in. You can push them all the way to the front. Uh, this is the gray release lever here in the back. You want to push that engaged or engage that, and then you want to slide that forward. And now it's locked in place. Feels pretty sturdy. Up front, if you ever had a jam. They do have a release lever here uh, that you can pull and get the jams out, so that's very cool as well. We'll put that back down, and then we're gonna make sure this lever, this latch is actually hooked on there, and then we'll just we'll push that back into place, and that's locked into place. It's back to being sturdy again. Uh, also, you wanna make sure your loading nails don't have the battery in. You just wanna be as safe as possible uh, once again. So we've loaded the 18 gauge Brad nails in, and now this will take anywhere from you know three quarter up to two, uh, maybe even a little bit more than that. Let's see, yeah, maybe a little, maybe a two and a quarter. But I've got a two inch uh, nail in right now, and uh, those are locked into place here. Also, when you get ready to start, one of the things you may not think about this is a little different than other guns. They actually have a little switch here right at the handle, and I'll get a close up shot of that for you so you can see it as well. They have a safety on this much like a regular gun. So you don't have to worry about accidentally firing once you engage the battery. The trigger is locked until you flip that little switch uh, back down here. And what you'll do is you'll flip that down and it'll show a little unlock symbol there. Otherwise, when the switch is up, it's in a lock position. So we'll take the battery, we'll add the battery on, and it doesn't fire. The trigger doesn't fire right here, you can see. It's not until you can flip that down that it actually engages. So we'll grab some wood here and let's test it out. Let's see how it works. Okay, so I've got a couple of pieces of wood. What I have here is a one by four, just like three quarters thick, and then a four by four block, which I'm gonna be using some stuff for outside projects here uh, pretty soon. Now I wanna mention that the uh, 18 gauge Brad nailer does come with nails included in the box there. You can see we have, uh, there is a one inch nail bed that comes in here, a track of one inch nails, one and one quarter inch nails, and then finally two inch. And they're just uh, kind of sitting here in the box. These are actually included in the package. Now if you want to buy other ones for different uh, shorter sizes or different sizes, obviously you can do that as well. All right. so. We've got the battery loaded into the gun now. 
we are going to engage, uh, disengage the safety. There's that little switch right here, if you can see that. We'll flip that down. That is now in the unlock position. So we'll make sure we're careful with the trigger here. You'll notice it has this uh, safety on the, uh, it's a kind of no mark, no mark tip that's also on there. That's kind of a nice feature as well. Uh, and we are going to go ahead and get started here. So we will engage. You'll notice that you can hear that kind of push down. And here we go. So as you hear it firing, you can tell it's not like a rapid fire like on some of the pneumatic tools, but this one definitely has a lot of power. It was able to nail this together without a problem. It feels very sturdy, this connection does. Now as we set it down, we're going to flip that safety switch back on, and we'll lay that back down. Uh, this feels very, very sturdy though. That's not coming apart at all. And keep in mind, this is a two inch nail. Now also I want to mention to you, it also has a depth guide here, so if you need to if you would like to bring it back up to a little bit more of a shallow spot, you can raise that through the depth guide, or you can also lower it down to full bore there where it goes all the way through. And you don't have uh, anything. This would be very easy to lightly putty over the top of, uh, depending on your application, obviously. The heads are fully submersed, and there's nothing sticking up. I can run my fingers right across that, and you don't feel it at all. So that makes it even better for finishing and whatnot there. So I think this is going to be great for DIYers around the house. I'm actually looking forward to taking this out to the backyard and using it for some yard improvements I'm doing here over the next couple of weeks. And there you have it. Of course, if you love tool reviews and other DIY projects that you can do around the house, click subscribe, smash that like button to stay up to date with what we have going on here at Bailey Build. For now, take care.